Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nimpulse Plays, where we're once again back with some 10 dates. This is the Misha run, and uh, we're now selecting our second date, so if you want to see how the first date went, first first dates went, there we go, you can watch the previous episode. But uh, overall, there's a little bit of a summary. Jake, teacher, very nice, um, pretty low-key, pretty interesting to talk to, very much an intellectual. Ty, I hate, um, self-described as kind of a, a, a bad boy. Um, very difficult to get into a conversation with and very argumentative at the table. Uh, Bash, uh, very much a, a lad. Lads, lads, lads. Uh, constantly on stag dues. Spent some time in Estonia, uh, but ha seems to have strong moral convictions, which is very confusing. Uh, and then Hazel. Uh, Hazel works in HR, uh, Book of the Month club reader. Uh, did shots with us. Not technically one of the speed daters, but somebody that we seem to have a fairly good dialogue with. So, I, I'll tell you now, I'm not picking Ty. There is no circumstance where I would pick Ty. However, that then leaves us with Jake, teacher with no socials, uh, Bash, who is a bit of a lads, lads, lad, uh, but seems to, seems to be an alright person to kind of talk to, very confident. And then there's Hazel, who I think we got on the best with. So I'm going to select Hazel to start, because I think we did get on the best with them. Recovering Book Addict. I also learned in the last Ryan playthrough that you can apparently like these photos, and you need to like some of them in order to actually get responses back. Don't cling to a mistake. Have the courage to be disliked. Very much uh, like inspirational posters. I like that one, sure. I don't know if there's a downside to liking all of them. I guess I'll just like the ones I like. I think it's quite an artistic one. It's a bit of an awkward photo, sh uh, photo there. It kind of looks like you, you just caught them in the middle of them like answering a question and scratching the back of their head, so I won't like that one. Have the courage to be disliked. It's not by design I'm trying to be disliked. So I think we'll just stick with what we have. So I'll ask for a second date for Hazel. Okay, now, Jake, or Bash, intellectual lad. Passionate, creative, good moral character, extroverted, introverted. Kind of... I don't know, it's difficult. With Jake, we don't really get a social media opportunity. Uh, do I want do I want to go on stag dues? Would be the question. Would I want to constantly be going out on stag dues? Not really. Not really my vibe. Would I want to go be in a nightclub every night of a week? Probably not. Jake probably wouldn't ask me to do that, so I'm gonna go Jake. Jake has no social media. Hazel. We do like this B-roll footage. What up, Hazel? I've read that one to you. Any good? Mm, she dies at the end. No. Wow. Why would you say that? She doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> You've been here long? Uh, yes, actually. But I'm always painfully early. It's kind of my thing. I agree. What I'm the you? same. What's your timekeeping like? Oh, straight in with the analytics. Early. I've been staring at spreadsheets all day. Kind I go to a party. I'm there like 20 minutes before the party starts, even though I have to wait outside. I'm usually always early too, but I didn't leave enough like buffer time today. I love being early. Like get yourself there and suss things out, check out what's going on. Go to the loo. Well, you yeah, have drinks. We're the same person, <laughs> literally. I think outfit complimenting is a good way to start. I love your outfit. Oh, thanks. It was kind of that uh, rainbow yeah. dungarees. Dungarees. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with dungarees. I know. Just chuck them on. Life uniform, right? Absolutely. Do you own a lot of dungarees? I have like 10 pairs of dungarees. I have about three and I think that's enough. Yeah, okay. I think you've taken the biscuit there. I'm yeah, you're right. I'm an addict. <laughs> Should we get a drink? Yes, definitely. What do you fancy? Maybe a cosmopolitan. Oh, I haven't had one in ages. Okay, okay. Excuse, Excuse me. me. <laughs> no. Cosmo. I don't know what's in a cosmopolitan. Evidently something red. Back on, back. Definitely. Mint. Definitely mint. I don't like. 
I don't like mint either. Yeah. Mm, I like that. Okay, this might sound silly. I love silly. Great. My uncle made up this holiday game called Where Do You Stand? So like one okay. point of a topic and then it leads to like a debate or a discussion or an argument. Okay, can I go That's first? just called a yes, conversation. Yeah, let me think. Um, right. Where do you stand on one night stands? Yeah, never played that one with the family before. <laughs> Big questions are better in this game. You've played it before? For or against? Oh, you made it up. Oh, um, rude. If both people are kind of looking for a one night stand, I don't see a reason against it but as it requires both people to be in for the same thing if one party's in but the other party's not in for a one night stand they want something more long term it gets a bit awkward but I think generally the concept is fine I think as long as they're done safely like within every sense of the word I mean what's the harm? yeah exactly like I think there's an experience behind each one from like the moment you spot someone you fancy to to the walk of shame afterwards. Yeah, see, I prefer stride of pride. Oh, <laughs> stride of pride. Good, isn't it? That's good. Okay, okay. My turn. What topic do I want your opinion on? Oh, uh, to to tattoos. Tattoos can be a good one. Because mm. I don't have any tattoos, tattoos, but I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of somebody okay, having I a tattoo. Any personally. Yeah. But I've also nothing against them. I'm a, I'm okay. Hazel apparently. Now that I'm a blank canvas as of now. Would you get any? No. Even if something meant a lot to you? Yeah, I think especially if it means something to me. Like, because if you've got something on your body and you can see it every day, doesn't it sort of lose its significance? Like, if I was going to get one, I'd get something really cool just so I could look at it. That's an interesting view. Mm. Okay, my turn. Uh, That's fair enough. Okay. Peace and war. Where do you stand? I generally oh, prefer people. peace. Are you going to draw any, like, big conclusions from my answer here? Yeah. No, not quite possibly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure peace is, peace um, is ideal. I don't know who would say war. Peace, obviously. Why, obviously? Or why do I support senseless killings for the whims of politicians? Military conflict's never going away. It's a sad fact of life, but I think accepting it and making sure it's done in the right context is the only way forward. Mil like, <laughs> military you know? conflict where people well, die in the right context? <laughs> we'll be here all night. <laughs> Besides, the world needs pacifists to make sure we're not starting wars over anything and everything. My turn. Okay, that's a bit of a weird one. What are you going to ask? Drugs or exercise? Dying, in my opinion, on. Uh, I don't know. Exercise? Drugs exercise? feels like a risky topic. I, um, I think I'm like most people. I have bursts of gym motivation every now and again. How long do those bursts last? Yeah, usually a week. I yeah, about a week. I believe that. I mean, yep. come look at you. It's a good metabolism. I'm getting away with it for now. Good to know. Morning or evening? For exercise or just in general? Just in general. Yeah. Oh, evening. Not a morning person also, at all. The complexity comes in your reasoning. I'm a night owl. And I'm a morning person. We're completely compatible. How does that work? Because we complement each other. It's like yin and yang. Okay. It's like if we were together in the dark ages, one of us would be there to hunt in the morning and one of us would be there to watch the fire at night. So I do like I'm watching a fire. Can you get us coffee? That sounds like a very good deal to me. <laughs> I feel like I can be quite open with you. Yeah. Do you want to tell the truth? Or is that ridiculous? No, no, I like it. But you go first. Okay. On the count of three. Are we doing truth or dare, but only One, truth? Two. Three. I'm addicted to cigarettes. Okay. You're a smoker. It started last year when I was going through a really stressful period of my life. Yeah, really I mean. Addicted. Yeah. But in my defence, I'm weaning myself off them, and my next resolution for the new year is to give them up completely. That's fair enough. Okay. Your turn. Oh, no, I'm still thinking of one. Um, okay, here we go. Three, uh, two, one. It's kind of awkward to answer this one on my... Because it's Misha's question. Um, I guess... Uh, 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 ne never been in love? I've never like, been truly, in love. properly in love? Yeah. Family love, yeah. Platonic love, yeah. Lust, yeah, but actual real love? Like really falling for someone? No. Nothing mutual anyway. That's something to look forward to. Yeah. The first time is always intoxicating. Mm. You speak from experience. Oh yeah. It's just like everything's bubbling up inside you and you can't stop it. But not that you want to stop it. Everything's 
just better every morning, every night. Even a dead end job in HR is a joy when you're sailing through life, you know. Yeah. It didn't last forever. No. It was out of my control, but yeah, I'm ready to get back to it. You so it's quite positive. Me. Quite a happy message. <laughs> I think that was a good date. And then we kept drinking until the sun rose the next day. Or it's night time, never mind. I'll let Uncle Jim know the game was a success. Please do. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Um, Misha, I don't normally ask this, but would you be all right to cover my part? I'm just in a really hard spot financially. The whole thing. 61 yeah. quid. 61 I, quid for a night out. It would really help me. For a date. That's quite expensive. Fine. You know what? If you're in a hard spot, I'm happy to help. Oh, thank you so much. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Is it rent day or something? Yeah. Yeah, that and I've had to take some unexpected time off work recently, so. Oh, well, I hope you get back to the office soon. Also, 61 yeah. quid for what? Three drinks? Yeah, me too. I had a lovely time. Yeah, me too. It's been a belter. I'm going to go in a minute, but I've got to wait for my taxi. Well, I'll just wait with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Shit. Um, nothing. Look, I'd really love to walk you home, but I've just got to get back myself. Is everything all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. Oh. Text me when you're home, will yeah? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll see you soon. Okay. So there's still clearly a bit of mystery going on here. It's Jake. You ever wonder what London is like? These are all things that are in London. Hey! hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. This is a cool location. Please, have a seat. It's very formal. Yeah, very I, open I room. My quality's taken a, an immediate hit. Yes. So, you like the job of... I would. <laughs> you waited. I did. The, um, the waiter advised that I should wait for you to open the bottle. Mm, that is good advice. I thought so. How was your weekend? Uh, yeah, my weekend was good. I went to see my sister. Um, her kids are super into tractors, so let's just say it got very muddy. This oh, is out in the countryside. Awesome. Like, there's got to be a couch somewhere. Not that I'm aware of. Mm, I'm not sure of it yet. Do you get like the grandchildren spill when you go home? Every time I go home, I get it. Yeah, so I'm very lucky. I have mm -hmm. three siblings, and they've all got kids, so I'm off the hook. Oh, for now. Nice. Good siblings. Do you play with your nieces and nephews? Yeah, only when they're good. Have I been good? Oh. That's like a roundabout way of me saying, like, <laughs> do you want some game time? Okay. Game time? Okay, quiz master at your service. Oh, okay. I'm big on quizzes. It's like about us, like our lives. Okay, go on. Okay, so to make it easier, you have to pose answers. So whoever is the quizzer has to pose a question and give three possible answers. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Question one. What is your favourite type of day? What do you mean? Active. Is it relaxed? Or a bit both? One where, like, you feel super amazing by the end of it. Uh, I'd say relaxed. Okay, I've got an answer. Okay. I like to just have chill days every now and I'm then. I'm going to say relaxed. Yes. Love me a big night in with some board games. Oh my god, I'm exactly Oh yeah, board games. Love Hell board yeah. It's raining outside. Wet play. Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what we call it at school. Yeah. Wet play mm -hmm. for the kids. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. <laughs> what is your biggest turn on? Oh. Kisses? Oh. Or words? Okay. Of it? Yeah, I think I've got something. Channeling your thoughts. I think they're big on words. I'm gonna go with... Okay, so you're a teacher, so you use words a lot. So I mean, everybody uses words, words a lot. That was so the cliche answer. No, not words. Cuddles. Oh, so Cuddles are also good. Yeah, no, not really. Not really. Okay, uh, question three. What do you value most in a partner? Okay. Kindness, bravery, mm. or honesty? That's a tough one. It is a tough one. 
Can I choose all three? Absolutely not. You have to prioritize. Um, okay. okay, I can choose if I have to. I, of the three of them, I'd say kindness. You kind of, ideally you want somebody who is all three. Um, honesty is probably my very close second, but I'd say kindness. Okay, I've got my answer. I mean, personally speaking, I hope the quality that you value most in a partner is kindness. Yeah. Kindness rules all and marks the priorities of the 21st century. Okay, save the history lesson. You got it. Yes. Easy, Danica. I mean, like, <laughs> get in. more to go before you get your victory lap. Okay, question four. Okay, question four. What is, what is the key to your heart? Oh. Is it wine? No. <laughs> is it food? <laughs> no. Or is it conversation? No, that's what it's easy. Yeah. Mm, actually. Okay, it's it is. Cook a cook conversation. Conversation. Yeah. Huh. Did you say that because I talk a lot? Uh, Do you think I talk a lot? Oh, no. no. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm actually more of a foodie myself. So... I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't be worried. So, have you ever cooked dinner for anyone on a date before? It's kind of my signature move. Mm, what's your star dish? <sighs> my star dish is risotto. Oh. Parmesan. A bit of truffle oil. Mm. Oh, truffle oil. Wait till you try it. So, if you like cooking, have you ever tried food play? What's what, uh, food play? Follow up question. Food play is in. No, I haven't. What about you? This wine is delicious. <laughs> Deflecting, okay. I do feel like this favorite. conversation, we need to know a bit more about whether they can they can give back and forth the jokes, because we're the one being the jokey at the moment. I've done a whipped cream thing once. Sounds a bit much to me. Mm, it was more of an accessory. Like, I'm not even sure if whipped cream counts as food play. It probably does. I don't, I don't think I want to know. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. That's, that's interesting. So, so would you say you're a romantic? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you believe in, like, the one? Yeah, I do. I do believe in the one. I'd like to think that there's someone out there waiting for They're us. They're very much an idealist. It's just right. I don't know. <laughs> Call me soppy, but I'm a bit of a... Yeah, wide-eyed optimist. Wide -eyed optimist. I, I, I can agree with that in premise. I do believe in the one. I think Plato might have been onto something. I think the one is a dynamic thing. Wandering it's, around it's the one at the moment. Half. Looking to complete ourselves. Yeah, and not that we're half a person, but I definitely believe that there's someone out there that fits with us perfectly. Exactly. Yeah. It's not that we're lacking anything, it's just that they add to us in a way. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it happens overnight, <laughs> but there's definitely one person out there for you. And you may start to get to know them and you spend some more time with them. You got that slow Next camera zoom. You want to spend the rest of your life together. More uh -huh. like a slow burn, then. Exactly that. Whiny. That's what they call me. <laughs> yep, they, they call him Jake the Whiny. Oh. I thought she was pouring it into the. It's been See, so. That long. meal cost yeah. less yeah. than the drinks. It has. Listen, thank you for coming on a second date with me. Mm, likewise. Yeah, really appreciate it. Do we split it? Let's split it. No, I, I, I can get it. Your offer is more than enough, and I would like to pay my way. <sighs> okay, I won't fight you on it. Good. I think splitting's fair for a date. <sighs> if the date's gone well, you might get somebody to cover for you. Yeah. Let's. After you. Mm -hmm. Such a gent. I do try it. <laughs> <laughs> this is difficult. This is more difficult than the Ryan one, I think. Mainly because we only got one choice in the Ryan one. Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Go. Who is getting the call of the third date? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Ryan. 
it's difficult. Hazel kind of left us on a weird note. I think Jake is good, but at the same point, Jake... I feel like we would have to kind of be... Like, we, we couldn't afford to fail for Jake, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like Hazel's somebody you could just be around, and on a good day, on a bad day, on any day, that would be fine. With Jake, and it came out in some of the the kind of saucier, risque kind of uh, questions for him, was that he's very much more looking for the prince charming kind of love and the the proper way of it so to speak then he is looking for you know like love love like i don't care kind of love where it doesn't matter what the day is i feel like at some points we would struggle to be ourselves around jake whereas with hazel I think we like there's no off limits and that that feels like the best kind of entry into a good relationship otherwise with Jake you basically just hit that point at some point one way or another right but this is genuinely difficult if I had the option to like one as a date and one as a friend I'd, I'd have both of these options like no, nobody get nobody would get left behind here but I think I think Hazel we've just kind of engaged more with generally even at the bar going in for shots whereas i feel like the conversation with jake effectively would have ended on a handshake and that's that's not that's not a spark of love that's that's you know formal we're going hazel uh, yeah um i'm i'm good thanks you oh what if they turn us down I hadn't thought about that. I, I, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out again. I, I, I know this really lovely place. Oh, it's gone, it's gone well. Oh my god, amazing. Yeah, that, that's, that's great. I will text you the details. Okay, bye. Hell yeah. We got a third date. More shots of London. Hazel, prisoner of love. Hello. Hi. Would you present? Oh my god, thank you. Right. Do you bring reading material on all your dates? Or just all all of alive? them, yeah. yeah. And this one is my latest obsession. Oh. I am honoured. Oh, sorry. My sister, Megan, she's on a date tonight and she's absolutely wrecking it. Do you mind if I just give her a call? Go for it. Did the thing that Ty didn't do. Established. Hey, okay. The need to have there. the call. Yeah, I'm with her now. No, don't apologise. She doesn't mind. No, honestly, she doesn't mind. All right, would you feel better if I put you on speakerphone? Uh oh, okay. 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 Misha, meet Megan. Hi, Megan. You right, Misha? Sorry, I'm stealing hairs from you. No, it's, it's fine. fine. I'm nearly at the bar. Sweating like a glass blower's ass. Are you quite an anxious person? Not usually. Right here? Yeah, not at all. I'm meeting them off a date now, which I never do. Swipe. Oh, yeah, I mean. Flirt, yes. That never happens here. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Absolutely bloody not. <laughs> if you're meeting them in a public place, then you can just bail if you feel uncomfortable. Okay. Thanks, Misha. I, I said that. <laughs> Sorry, Hiz. Just Misha sounds more legit than you. Oh. Okay, I'm going in. Brutal. Reckon you could stay in my ears. Uh, how would we do that? This is some secret agent shit. We got you, baby. Oh, I'm down for this. Okay, so this is cool. What's on your mind? What do I do if they don't look like the pictures? Like a mahoosive catfish? I'm guessing you haven't video called or anything? No. Or should I have? Well, it might have been. Uh, catfishing's a very awkward precedent. I generally I'd work out whether they catfished maliciously or it was pure anxiety basically give them give them two or three minutes 
And if they don't cover that they've they've catfished you and there's not been some terrible misunderstanding, then leave. So stay for the moment and then... Posting inaccurate pictures is a shit move, but there might be reasons. Yeah, they could be really insecure. Yeah, some people just don't get good photos of themselves, you know? Maybe give an hour and see what they're like. Yeah, Misha's more generous than I am. I'm positive thinking, though, they will look as good as their pics. Oh, thanks. You too. Great to meet you, Megan. First crisis avoided. Okay, so they're not catfished. They can't hear us. That's true, actually. Shall we get some drinks? Oh, sure, yeah. This place does the best espresso martinis. I'll get us a couple. Did they just order for you, Megan? Um, no, it's a bit of a red flag for me, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, espresso martinis sound good. <laughs> espresso martinis. You don't even like those. They give you the shit. Uh, am, I, am I agreeing that they should get the drinks, or am I agreeing with... Uh, with Hazel that they should get their own drink. I agree. Don't order somebody somebody's drink from them. Suggest it, maybe, but don't order it for them. Oh, then also don't correct them. Oh, I have to agree with Hazel. It's a bit controlling. Change the order if you want. Um, actually, could I just get a gin and tonic instead? Phew. That could have got messy. <laughs> Thanks for that lovely piece of information. You're welcome. Um, look, Megan, I, I know this isn't the cool thing to say. Yeah, cool small. Yeah, I've, I've been looking forward to this all day. Aww. Probably got me to work and that. Oh, that's nice, right? Me, me. Your job would be shit. <laughs> um, I actually love it, but um, it's just that I never matched girls like you, so um, yeah. Oh, they sound pretty genuine to me. That sounds alright. I know how they feel. Very smooth. Like what I did there. <coughs> Sorry, Megan. Uh, show some appreciation. They'll like that. Fair enough, yeah. I cook every day, but that's because I die otherwise. Oh, boy, Not necessarily a hobby. Rolling. She's got to improve the chat. What, like change the topic to something more interesting? No, no, no. Small talk's good at this stage, you know. Gotta get the flow going. Acupuncture. I just did a course in it. There's a hobby of mine. Well, then how can you progress the hobby chat? I find acupuncture terrifying. Needles all go. Tell a story. I see. Elaborate, Megan. Tell a personal story about one of those hobbies. You sure? Well, everyone likes someone who can express themselves. You've never seen an acupuncture needle then, because it's totally girthless. That's a, that's a weird I'll statement. Personally, you know, it releases biochemicals that stimulate the body's natural healing abilities. You've almost converted me. A private treatment would finish the job. My drinks haven't even arrived, and you've already agreed to me sticking needles in you. <laughs> so, if you know the express espresso, martinis here so well, is it your regular date spot? Oh, God, no. I barely ever go on app dates. People like to hear you. Mm, depends. Cook up both ways. Nice, please. Who are you talking to? What? Uh, say the oh, truth. Be honest, Megan. Yeah. Don't get off on the wrong foot by lying. Look, I'll be honest. I barely date at the best of times, let alone from apps. They scare me that I won't match up to my profile. Well, Megan, um, you more than match up to me. Aww. And... Do they actually? Well, for sure. App dating feels like one big competition, so it's nice to feel unique. Two seconds, Megan. I'm just going to pop to the loo. Take your time. Okay, I will. I will take my time. How do you feel, baby girl? I actually quite fancy them. Get in, Megan. Yes. <laughs> what would you like to know next? Um, I actually think I got it from here. Hey. Be brief later tonight. For sure. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, they're coming back. Go, go, bye. <laughs> Good luck, Megan. Bath, but it was mainly you. Mm, I swim in my gut. Well, your gut is very impressive. That's oh. better in your head, didn't it? Completely. Yeah. Got that good yackle. <laughs> well, in all that excitement, we forgot to order any food. And drinks. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> yes. Why is there nobody up here? Hello. Mama, for Hello. later. <laughs> Gotta love these, these B-roll shots of drinks. To say you seem like a great friend to Megan more than anything else. Well, if nothing else, I'm loyal to a fault. Yeah. What do you mean? You know, I had to 
dash at the end of our last day. I was that going to ask. Just yeah. Run off to watch something on the telly. Let me just show you. Is that a tag? Just let me explain. What? Do you fresh out of prison? No, it, I've not been to prison. It, I'm on bail pending trial. Interesting. A B H. Aggressive bodily harm. And then some guy groped her, so I walloped him one. Smashed him in the face, cracked his nose, blood everywhere. He got sent to hospital. That's nothing to be proud of. I'm not proud of it. But I would do it again in a heartbeat to protect people. Like yeah, I'm, I'm being quite judgmental here, I think. It does mean I still have to be in by 10 to 9. Is this your first brush with the law? Or? I mean, I did some graffiti as a kid, but it's not like I go looking for that stuff. It just, it finds you. Misha, I want you to know this is not the person that I am. They're being quite honest with me. Can't help the situation. They did it for a relatively good reason. I don't really have a problem with this. I've spent enough time with you to know that you're not a bad person. We just need to keep you out of trouble. That won't be hard for someone like you. I was suspended from work because of the incident. That explains it. I was supposed to go back last week, but my perspective's just changed. I realised that life can just change in the blink of an eye, so why would I want to go back to that rat race? The old HR. You don't like your job, do you? No. <laughs> but sadly, I've got bills to pay. Yeah. What would you do in my shoes? On a scale of 1 to 10, how disgruntled are you? I'm a strong 15. <laughs> oh. I hate it. Change or fix? Change of... As in change jobs? Or f what does fix mean? My advice would be, if you're a strong 15 in terms of disgruntled out of 10, then yeah, a change is in order. I don't know what fix means, so I'm going to go change. I'd take the plunge and find a new job. I just think that's too risky. I've got established at my current workplace. I've worked my way up. I've got a good salary. How are we supposed to understand ourselves if we don't try different things? It's good for the soul. A change of pace, place. Find something that you can live with try that you might love change more. Change is never as easy as society wants you to think it is. Especially no, it's not easy, but it might be better. I like there's always cranes in London. I'm growing a massive food, baby. Mm, I've got one more mouthful of tiramisu here if you want to help me out. No, go on then. I'm feeding them. You have a very resilient nature. That would have been key defense to my judge. Can I have your mom? Yep. It was great seeing you again. I just want to know what your nature thinks about us. Oh, that was very slick. So slick. I like Hazel. I really like you, Hazel. Why not, you know? You're beautiful and genuine and trustworthy. And I know you'll always have my back. <laughs> Approachable, easy to talk to. I really like you too, Misha. Aww. I really want to just run away and kiss you, but I've got to go. Well, let's run together. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Misha, uh, Misha and Hazel celebrated her tag coming off of the spontaneous weekend by the coast. They are planning many more to come. Ah, Yeah, isn't that sweet? And there you go. That's the end of, uh, of Misha's run. We have seen the credits, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll tab us through now to skip the credits. And we'll see kind of what the results are. So, Hazel. I'm assuming there are different scenes then um, where we don't do shots with Hazel, don't cover the bill, and tell her that we have a problem with her secret curfew. But I think we got a good result. Lucas, one out of three. Oh boy, pay the bill. Wagyu steak with lobster kit. Lucas seems like they would have been really hard work. Ty. Boo. Boo. Not a fan of Ty. Made everything about themselves. Was very difficult to talk to. Bash. Bash was alright. Um. Never found out their real name. That's true. And ah, oh, pub quiz. Bash could have been a good option. And then there's Jake. 
Uh, Jake was alright. Jake... Jake would have been a good option too. I think I think we just got on more with with Hazel. So yeah, that was ten dates. I'll uh, I'll see you all for the next game, whatever it may be. In the next one. Bye for now.